So this is one of the biggest obstacles that I often hear, especially when somebody's brand new to working out, is that they don't know how they're gonna be able to pay for their membership and they always say that they can't afford it. So before I go on guys, give the video a like, make sure that you're subscribed and please hit the share button on the Facebook. It helps me with the algorithm, it helps me grow and helps me get better. So number one is that you need to put yourself on a spending diet. So you cannot be buying the small stuff like having takeout randomly or buying something on Amazon that you don't necessarily need. And most importantly is that you need to limit your booze intake because we know how much booze costs and we know that it takes a lot of booze for us to get fulfilled and that's just a lot of money that you're wasting down the drain. You cut down your booze habits, I guarantee you that you'll be able to afford whatever the membership price is. Number two is that you need to cut the crap. How many subscriptions do you have right now? Do you have a subscription to Disney? Do you have a subscription to Netflix? You know, how many Amazon Primes? Like all these different subscriptions that you're probably not using. What about your TV? Do you have channels on there that you don't necessarily need? Do you have Crave? Do you have the sports network? Like are all these things necessary? Do you even watch those TV shows? Think about how much money you would save if you just cut the crap. And another thing is, do you need to get your nails done every week? You're already pretty enough. You don't need your hair done every single week. You can take a couple weeks in between and save some money. What about your phone? Is that the brand new iPhone? Oh my goodness, the camera's a little bit better. Did you need to go out and spend twelve to $1,500 on a brand new iPhone? If it's running slow, bring it into a technician, they're gonna fix it. Really, what do you use your phone for? For browsing, taking random photos that you probably don't upload onto the internet, who cares? You're not a professional photographer, you don't need that good of a quality phone. So don't get the iPhone. Number three is that you need to take active trips versus sitting on a beach, eating and drinking and spending a ton of money that you don't necessarily need to. Take part in the country that you're visiting. If you go to Hawaii, don't just sit on the beach and go to different restaurants that we don't have here in Canada because all that's doing is you're spending American dollars. You just spent a ton of money to be on a beach. If you go to Hawaii, I would tell you to explore, right? You can get a basic Airbnb. You could rent a car and you can travel to the actual beautiful places of the city, okay? Or of the island or wherever you are. Go out into a jungle. Spend eight hours there. Go for a beautiful hike with your family. I guarantee you that there's tons of ways that you can still travel, enjoy the warm, without spending all that money on things that you don't necessarily need. Number four is that you need to pay up front or join with the family and friend and get that family member discount. Most gyms, including Fit Club, have a family discount that if you both sign up together and you commit to for a year, you both get a discount. And so a lot of services offer that discount. If you ever do a subscription, they often give you the month to month subscription rate and they also give you the paid in full for the year. If you've got the money and you know you're committed to this program or whatever it is that subscription is and you absolutely need it, then pay in full because in the long run, you're gonna be saving money. And the last but not least, and I recommend this to everybody, even I have a side hustle. Jerome has a side hustle. Kareen has a side hustle. Rick has a side hustle. Everybody has the same 24 hours in a day. So if you're working eight hours, guess what? You're probably not working enough, right? You need to find a way to make the things that you need in your life to work within your budget. And sometimes what you're doing for work isn't enough. Sometimes you need to expand your knowledge base increase your value and find a way to create a side hustle. Business owners, I'm gonna tell you this right now, or even people working in other countries outside of North America, they don't know what an eight hour workday is. They don't know what it's like to work five days a week. In fact, most entrepreneurs, including this guy, work seven days a week. Now, I'm not saying you need to work yourself to the bone. Life is all about balance, but if you need money and you're always saying, I can't afford it, then you need to find a way to increase your value find your side hustle, make that money and enjoy your life. So here's how you're gonna be able to afford your gym membership. Put yourself on a spending budget, cut the crap, take active trips versus sitting on your ass all day, pay up front and get yourself a side hustle. <laughs> Give the video a like, throw a comment in the comment section, subscribe and also share this onto Facebook guys. We'll see you on the next video.